All right, now that we've built out our look ahead, we can start adding some of the other tools that we have here. One of those is our roadblocks tool. What this does, it allows you to add constraints to your look ahead schedule, and then also creates a constraint log for you automatically. So for example, if I have a task here that I need to add a roadblock to, I simply come over here, I hit this roadblocks button next to the task name, open that up and I can say, that's a change order. I need change order number three approval. And I'm gonna assign that to my project superintendent, let them know I need that by the 30th before I can proceed with that work and create that roadblock. Now we can see that roadblock symbol next to our task along with some of these others. And if we wanna take a look at that constraint log or that roadblock log, we can come over here, hit this roadblocks button. And what that's gonna do, it's gonna bring up our log here and show us all of the removed roadblocks and any open roadblocks that we have. With a quick glance, we can see what types of roadblocks we have. We've got some RFIs, a change order, an inspection, some detail that we've got on those, who's responsible for getting those removed, and then what date we need those by. So for these two, change order number three, I actually got that approved. So I'm gonna mark that as removed. And we just completed our MEP inspection. So again, I'm gonna mark that as removed. Like you can see here, it's pretty easy to manage all of your roadblocks and constraints in your look ahead. And as you build those out into your look ahead and connect them to your schedule, it closes that loop, you know exactly when you need them. And then you've got this really nice tool here where you can easily change the status and keep working through your project. In the next video, we'll go over some other tools that you have for your look ahead.